Good evening from Expert Credit Sweep. So it has been a couple of weeks, but I've created a new PDF for you guys, and I just want to go over a couple of things. Um, and it's been a couple of weeks because I was preparing for my little boy to be born. So I keep on getting these calls, and uh, people just don't understand why they're disputing. What is the why behind it? So. I did put a lot of information in here, so what I'm going to do is just put the link to this um, so that you can actually go through it whenever you want to. But the whole point is, what is the whole point? So, and I'm not going to read verbatim because there's obviously a lot of text, but um, what is the whole point behind the speeding? So all these people call me and they're like, yeah, I use a 609 and I'm using this, I'm using that. And I'm just like, dude, that's not the way that it works. Okay. So it's not enough to buy some dispute letters online and just copy and paste and enter your name here. Okay. Because if there was a miracle letter such as the 609, then guess what? I wouldn't have a job. Lexington wouldn't have a job and nobody would be doing anything because everybody would be doing this. Okay, so let's look at the math. Let's say that you have a charge off and yes, I'm only talking about one for $10,000. So using the 609, and this really goes for any sort of template, you're just saying basically that you're going to send one letter, you're gonna send a couple of rounds and boom, this 10,000 or $42,000 uh, charge off is going to be removed and dun, 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 it's a miracle. It doesn't work like that. Guess what? I'm the queen of England. It No, I don't think so. I'm not the queen of England. Okay, so the truth behind it all is that it's really, really difficult to remove negative and accurately reported accounts. And you have to do it correctly. So the question is, who do you trust? Okay, so this is the internet age where everyone has a doctorate in Google. Okay, everybody does one thing and one thing only they google stuff oh why, why do i have a migraine you know when is my due date how am i going to do this how am i going to do that and guess what you find the answers online but does that mean that it's the right answer probably not so real quick i'm just putting a comparison between extra credit sweeps and the other companies and um there's probably like 50 more that I could have put on here, but I'm just putting one through nine and I'm going to go through them very quickly. Copies of disputes. And if you look over here, it's going to say expert credit sweeps and over here is the other guys, okay? So copies of disputes, expert credit sweeps, yes, the other guys know. Why? Because they say it's confidential. And I've said this in a million of my videos and there's like 80 of them, that when you go to somebody else, they're not going to prove anything that they do, and they're going to tell you that it's because it's confidential. Anyways, start same day. Extra credit suites? Yes. The other guys? No. They start on day five. Okay? Dispute all negative items every run. Expert credit suite? Yes. Absolutely. The other guys? No. Two to three items per month. You do the math. How long do you think it's going to going to take to dispute your fifty or thirty or twenty or even ten negative items? Okay, and that's like only disputing you know two on Equifax here, and then we're going to dispute one on Experian. Then, blah blah blah. It doesn't work. Do I use templates? No. Okay. The other guys, yes. Obviously, if they didn't, they wouldn't be able to service hundreds of thousands of consumers, okay? So going through the other ones quickly, offer one-on-one -on -one video sessions, I do. They don't. Call, email for score building advice, obviously, yes. And I do give free, uh, four free tips if it's not, you know, if, you, if, if it's the regular uh, program and obviously with my full consulting, yes, because it's paid. The other guys don't. You can't call them and say, oh, well, you know, I just applied for this and blah, blah, blah. When is it going to post and what do you think I should do now? No, they don't offer it. Full consulting, yes, I want you to be informed and so I do full consulting. The other guys, no, because it's a trade secret, obviously. So I'm just going to skip the other ones. I mean, basically you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. You guys, I mean, having the right information um, is very, very important, but I mean, it's all up to you whether, you know, you utilize it or not. So does it really matter what company you go to or is it just the method? It's actually both. So, um, and I've gone over this and a couple of videos so i'm going to jump down to the bottom of this so i talked to a guy um the other day and he had gone to literally 10 and i didn't believe him but 10 different companies and 
Um, this is over the course of like, I was four or five years or whatever. And he said, all they did was take his money. And I had to explain to him that the more you dispute, the harder it is to remove negative items. Okay. And I've said this and I'm literally slapping my hand against my desk right now. Okay. The more you dispute, the harder it is. That is why my program is only six months because guess what? Really? I really only want to deal with virgin files, but even if you've gone to 10 companies or four companies or two companies, or you disputed yourself, I can still, I mean, virtually help everybody. Um, but you know, there is a clause there that the longer you dispute, the more you dispute, the harder it is to get the negative items off. And you probably or the company probably did it the wrong way. Okay. So you need to do it the right way the first time. Okay. So now that I'm adding even more confusion into this, let's look at what your disputes should actually say. And I do go over this in a lot of my videos, but the whole point is keep it simple. Okay. I'm going to show you what your disputes should and should not say. Okay, so knowing what to say, how to say it, what belongs, what doesn't belong, whether something should be deleted because it doesn't meet the requirements of the FCRA, how to use the law, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff is very important, but the whole point is to keep it simple. So the first example right here is what it should say, and there's a second example, okay? And uh, you could look at this by pulling this up on your own screen when you have some time, but I keep it very, 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 very short, okay? You wanna have your information, the date, and the bureau. One to two lines of text. Why are you writing this letter and what are you trying to say? Then you wanna have the company name, the account number, and the reason. For unknown accounts, the first round is always going to be unknown. Please delete immediately, okay? So let's say that, and this is example number two, you're not talking about collections, you're talking about something else, a late payment, a charge off, a whatever, repossession, foreclosure. So now you're going to use example number two. So my recent credit report is really confusing and I need some help because I'm just a regular person doing regular ass shit, okay? I have, uh, you know, I'm a janitor, I'm a teacher, I'm whatever. I'm not working for a company, I don't know about the law, and I just need help, okay? So this charge off with Capital One, account number 517, you know, 517-805, is reporting that, um, you know, I owe $2,000, but I paid this down by $538, so this balance doesn't reflect this change. Please delete it immediately. So you're giving the reason, right? You're telling them why, you're justifying, and you're saying, please delete it, okay? Um, or, the account says it was sold to a collection agency in 2014, but you're still showing the you know, late payments after being sold. So you have to look at the payment history, guys. So how is that possible if they didn't own the account at that time? Or the balance, is, uh, the balance shows 500, but the past due shows 953. How can the past due be more than the balance? So that's really just two simple examples, but here's something else. Okay, so what your disputes should actually say and what they should not say, okay? So the first part, as you can see in red, is what they should say. You should have your personal info, the date, and the bureau you're disputing, okay? Simple, short paragraphs or a sentence that explains what you're writing them for. Company name, account number, reason for dispute, and request for deletion or correction. Deletion is for you know, charge-offs, repossessions, foreclosures, or for authorized users where you want to be removed or your client needs to be removed from it because there's, you know, the balance is too high, utilization, late payments, whatever. Um, and then correction for accounts where you just want to remove the late payments and have the account reported as paid as agreed. You always want to ask for the deletion or correction. Don't just tell them what's wrong. Okay, request an updated report and send copies of ID, SSN, and proof of address. And no, you cannot use ID as proof of address. Okay, what should not be on there? Do not threaten the sue unless the intention is real. Okay, not only is it stupid, but it makes you look stupid, but it's also against the law. Okay, don't send anything that's more than one page unless it's like part of a paragraph that's hanging off, you know, on the back. Um, don't put 
you know, paragraphs of legal jargon, you know, pursuant to blah, 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 legal definitions, full sections of the FCRA. It's, it's just unnecessary. And you just look like a company or you look like, uh, you look like you don't know what you're talking about. I mean, obviously they know the law. Okay. So you don't have to stick all that crap in there. Uh, don't list more than a few negative items per dispute unless they're medical with medical. You could stick like 150 accounts on there and it, it really wouldn't even matter. Okay. Um, don't, it should not be templates or um, give one reason for disputing multiple items. So don't put like, don't put a blanket dispute. So that would be, you know, if you have a template for some, you know, where the collection agency didn't respond to the disputes in time and you're like, well, this is regarding account number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, A, one, two, three, four, five, B, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to do that. Okay. Give basic reason for dispute. Wrong balance, inaccurate data, um, wrong payment history. It has to be very, very specific. Okay. And that brings us to basically the end of this, but you need to have realistic expectations, guys, because, um, I mean, there's all this wrong information online and I want to just simply point out what is realistic and what is unrealistic because I get calls where people are like oh yeah um, you know I heard that I could do you know a 30-day um, sweep and uh, I could do this and I can remove $42,000 in debt overnight and oh my god it just blows my mind what you guys actually believe okay and I've been doing this for a long time so anyways I'm shutting up and moving on expectations on the left realistic in the middle unrealistic on the right okay a 30-day sweep is unrealistic 12 to 36 months is unrealistic who the heck wants to go out without their credit for 12 to 36 months a hundred percent negative item deletion in a short period of time unrealistic a six-month sweep however realistic realistic release from charge off debt if account is deleted unrealistic Release from third-party debt if account is deleted, realistic. Release from debt buyer debt if account is deleted, can happen, but unrealistic. Judgments, tax liens, evictions are easy to remove. Yes, they are. Bankruptcies are the most difficult to remove. Yes, they are. And it can take a few months to obtain deletions on certain files. Yes, it can. Okay, so these are realistic and unrealistic expectations, and I try to make it as simple as possible. Okay, so. Um, I give a couple options with what I do, and um, I mean, do you want to know the secrets of the universe? I do too. You know, I, I really can't give you that, but what I can offer you is the option to do this yourself or have it done for you because obviously I give a ton of free information and a ton of tutorials and walk you through and hold your hand and all that kind of stuff. But some people, you know, they want me to take over their file. Some people want me to teach this to them and some people, you know, just want to do it themselves, whatever. So the difference between a credit sweep and consulting is that a credit sweep is a hands-off situation for the consumer, you the consumer, you the client, which means that everything is done for you, okay? Now, with consulting, that's totally different. It's the complete opposite. So it is hands-off uh, hands for me and hands-on for you. So the difference is obviously one person doing the work while the other person doesn't. Okay. And another thing is, is that with a credit sweep, you obtain the actual copies of your disputes, but you might not know the why or why not behind it. So yeah, you see that I'm disputing a certain way, but do you know why I'm disputing like that or why I said something like that or why I used those three words together or why I put this number first instead of that? No, you probably don't. And you probably couldn't figure it out just by looking at the disputes. On the other hand, consulting, we're going to look at your entire credit report and I'm going to give you the secrets of the universe. Okay. Not literally. Okay. Because I'm, I don't have the secrets of the universe. And if I did, I probably wouldn't give it to people uh, because you know, I'm greedy like that. I'm just kidding. So consulting is where I'm going to show you what you're supposed to say so that you can be the master of your own credit universe. So that's why I made that joke. So 
If you'd like to be the master of your own credit universe, then this is the program that you would be looking for is the consulting where I'm actually showing you why it's not supposed to be listed like that because it was transferred or sold or that a monthly payment doesn't belong on there or that this, that, or the third, okay? So you have those options, a credit sweep or consulting. And um, I also offer uh, score building. Now, once again, you know, it, I do offer a little bit of score building with the actual credit suite, but you know, there's a whole, there's a whole program for that. So it's only four free tips during the entire consultation. Um, not, sorry, not consultation, but program. And, um, I do offer a free, um, free consultation for score building, but a lot of the times you want to put it with one thing or the other and not by itself. So anyways, um, you know, if you guys are interested in either the uh, credit sweep, consulting, or score building, or any of uh, anything else that I offer, you can always schedule your appointment online, expertcreditsweeps.com forward slash book dash online. Or if you're looking at this, you can just click on um, the red button that we had passed a couple pages ago. Or if you're looking to build your own consulting program, the consultation is 100 and you can click on this right here. It says book now. But for tonight, that is it, guys. And I will be posting another video very shortly. And that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening.